Our opening hymn is number 602, I Have Loved You. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord, and long for him. He will bring you his joy and his hope. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you rode gloriously from the dead, giving us hope of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you rose, you ascended in glory to your Father's right hand in heaven, where you now intercede in our behalf. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most I, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. 
There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it. And may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who, accomp who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who is also known as Justice and Matthias. Then they prayed, you Lord who knows the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go in his own place. Then they gave lots to them and the lot fell upon Matthias and he was counted with the 11 apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princesses with the princesses of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I have your blessing, Father. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. 
I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give to you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel today, Jesus tells us that greater love than this no one has than that he laid down his life for his friends. That reading is one of the uh, choice uh, gospel readings that uh, is often chosen at weddings. And in the early days of my priesthood, when I was rather young and dumb, I used to think that was really inappropriate. Um, I always refer to that passage as referring to people like soldiers in combat giving their lives to save their buddies, or a policeman or a fireman or maybe a parent rushing into a burning building to try to save a child and losing their life in the process. But over the years, I've opened my eyes and I've, uh, I've witnessed a lot more in life, and I realize that passage really applies to every one of us, and it certainly is appropriate in marriage. In marriage, uh, two people, husband and wife, truly uh, pledge to give their lives uh, for each other, not in some great heroic act, but in a hundred different ways every day, every day. And sometimes it'd be a lot easier to do so in one great gigantic act for which you receive a lot of credit and praise, but doing it day after day after day, doing so many things you don't really care to do, uh, but you do it out of love for your, your spouse or your children. Um, she wants to go shopping when you want to watch a ball game. Um, that takes a real act of love. Uh, I remember some years ago, a good friend of mine who on a number of occasions went on a mountain climbing expedition with me. And that particular summer, he re spent his vacation going to the Mall of America in Minnesota when I went mountain climbing. That was a real act of love. And to do it joyfully and cheerfully and try to make the best of it, even when your heart really isn't into it. And as parents and godparents and grandparents, you have to do that all the time. Talk to a granddad one time who spent all Sunday afternoon four hours at a dance recital to see a granddaughter dance for four minutes. And of course, those dance directors are very clever. They always make sure every child is involved in some part of the program, but then at the end you have a grand finale where every kid is involved, and that way all the parents and grandparents have to stay there to the very end. That takes a real act of love. Uh, it's just, just good to think about that from time to time and realize that every day you as parents, as grandparents, as spouses are called to make countless little acts of sacrifice for the good of your spouse or the good of your family. And that's true of all of us. As priests are required to do that too. And the important thing is that we do it cheerfully and joyfully and realize that in doing it and serving others, we are serving the Lord, and that's what makes our sacrifice and our, our efforts uh, so valuable in his sight. So today, as we celebrate the Eucharist, let's first of all thank God for all those people who every day make sacrifices for our own betterment and out of love for us. Let's ask the Lord Jesus to help us to imitate his example in showing love for others by what we say and do throughout this day. And it's hard for us to do that alone so we ask the Lord Jesus to strengthen us with his presence, both spiritually and through the sacrament of reception of the Eucharist, to go out and reflect his love to one another. And at the end of the Mass, when we hear that greeting, uh, to go in peace, to love and serve the Lord, Jesus is sending us out as his disciples to proclaim his love to others by what we say and do. With that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, your Son Jesus showed his love for us by giving his life on the cross. Help us to spend our, our lives each day in loving service of one another and in this way imitate his example in some small way. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, 
for Archbishop Lucas and for Bishop James Connolly, who we prayed for her recovery, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve us in public office, our president, members of the Senate and House of Representatives, our governor, our state and local legislators, that especially in time of crisis, they will strive to work together for what is best for our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, especially those confined in their homes, that each member will show love and respect, patience, willingness to forgive one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who suffer in mind, body, or spirit, that they may experience the light of God's healing grace and all who are ill, may they unite their sufferings with the sufferings of Jesus on the cross for the salvation of souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our departed loved ones, that they may share in Christ's risen glory in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who mourn the loss of a loved one, that their faith in Jesus will be a source of strength and peace for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from the Lord through serious sin, that they may respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, receive the sacrament of reconciliation, and return to Him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That medical scientists, doctors, and nurses may be guided by the Holy Spirit in finding a way to stem the spread of the coronavirus and for all who are afflicted with the virus, that they may recover, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our special needs and attentions, let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also today for Lambert Georgeson, who we buried from our parish this morning, for Pat Sawyer, who will be buried tomorrow, for all who have died recently, that they may share in Christ's risen glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his church, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed as its shepherds, to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile the world to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, St. Matthias, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, Andy. Peace, peace. peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old hymn who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and you might unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of your saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord by your works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Final hymn is They'll Know We Are Christians. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. By our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. By our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We now join regular programming on News Channel Nebraska.